It's the first time the Super Bowl will be played outside in a cold climate, and it could be tough sledding for the Denver Broncos and Seattle Seahawks. Doctors say a player's odds of getting hurt increase significantly as the temperature drops. When temperatures go below freezing, the body adapts different ways, and one of the ways it adapts is to try to maintain body heat. So what happens is, while the body is okay, the hands and feet suffer. Dr. Robert Gottlin is the Director of Orthopedic and Sports Rehabilitation at Beth Israel Medical Center in New York City. He says injuries, such as frostbite and muscle pulls, are common when playing in frigid temperatures, and extreme cold will also affect players' strength. The cold weather decreases our strength because we have decreased blood flow to the hands. And reaction time is different. Trying to block somebody, or catch a pass, or run a route can be different in cold weather because we just don't process it right because the cold weather changes that for us. Because the blood flow is going to our brain and our heart and our lungs, not our hands and our feet. Of course, this won't be the first time the Broncos and Seahawks have played in a game outside during winter and they train to perform in all conditions. But blocking out the cold can leave them open to injury. Many factors come into play and those who you see wearing no, no shirts and they're wearing short sleeves. We say, how can they do that? Because they have endorphins. They have their body is geared up for the game. They have increased blood flow mentally. But still, injuries may occur and do occur. The doctor says adjusting diets is key to helping players adapt to conditions. The meal plans will be different in cold weather. They'll prepare differently. They'll have almost like a marathon preparation by changing their meals. So that'll increase blood flow as well and increase the most important part of the blood, which is the glucose, to keep them free from injury. As many as one-third of players can suffer an injury in a warm weather game, up to half could be hurt in the cold. And the long-term forecast calls for temperatures below freezing on Super Bowl Sunday. In New York, I'm Rick Leventhal, Fox News.